Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome to a brand new episode of our Minecraft Modded Survival World. Last episode we did the Enderman, but we're not over at the Enderman farm at the minute, we're actually over here. Because I'm getting tired of this jetpack. I want to upgrade to Angel Wings. And to do that, well, I need these unstable ingots, which are a royal pain in the rear end to get. But to get them, we need this division sigil. And this division sigil is a little bit of a troublesome thing to get, to say the least. We need to sacrifice an animal over an altar with a redstone circuit on at midnight. <laughs> so we're just waiting for it to go midnight. Then we're going to do this, and this is going to be fun because we're going to get all of this. It is going to get turned to, I think it's called Cursed Earth. It might be called something else to 1.7.10, I forget. And we're going to get mob spawn. Lots and lots of mobs. <laughs> and we, we don't want to be dealing with them. So I've brought an additional pig with me, just to be on the safe side. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to tell when the sun is overhead. Or when the moon is overhead because of this mod that we've got. It's very difficult to see because we don't have the vanilla uh, Minecraft cycle. So we are just kind of waiting. But this, this sigil will start to glow once we can do the ritual. So it shouldn't take too much longer. But as you can see... Too early, sacrifice must be made at midnight. Now, the clock up here, where it says next up here, in the top right, where it says evening, that does switch to midnight at some point. So once it does, we'll be able to actually see this. We're at night now. We've gone from evening to night, so it should be midnight relatively soon. Shouldn't take too long. See, I would bring you back when it hits midnight, but as soon as I click the button to do that, it's going to suddenly become midnight. There we go. Perform the sacrifice. Boom. Oh, wow. When we sacrifice a... When we sacrifice a pig, it becomes a zombie pigman. Okay, that's that's interesting. So now we actually have this division sigil. Um, I need to deal with that, but we'll deal with that later. That's not important. We'll let all those... Actually, I should deal with that. Let me... I want to see if we can soak touch this. Let's deal with this first. Get rid of all... Get rid of this. I'll do this off camera, but I do want to see if I can... Oh, jeez. This is going to be... This is going to be more difficult than I thought. Okay. I, I, got, I got a... Semi-plan... Because I, I know killing these doesn't make a difference. Oh, jeez. Bugger off. Get lost. I only want to see if I can actually silk touch this. So, please, fight each other and leave me alone long enough to just simply... It's always a zombie, isn't it? That's just knocking us off. Okay, mob griefing is off so that they won't... I know we can't hit one with this. But I do believe that it can spread if we were to place it down. These skeletons are making life very difficult. Ugh, bugger off. Yeah, look, it's starting to spread downwards. Okay, so yeah, we can. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a bit of this. Okay, that, that that's enough. Now I'm going to just do it with the atomic disassembler. So let me deal with this and I'll be back with you. That certainly took a lot longer than I was hoping it would take. <laughs> but anyway, we've now got this sigil. Now, I want to tell you how to get this sigil. First of all, this division sigil. Uh, there's two different types of it. There's the glowing enchanted, if you will, one. And then there's a the regular one that's inactive. The difference is one's active, one is inactive. And basically, you find these inactive ones in dungeon chests. So you go around, you find spawners, or in my case, I went to the deep dark. They're a lot easier to spot in the deep dark with the dungeons because they're, they're lit up in the darkness, so you can find them a lot easier. I got quite a few from there. Uh, I didn't actually find... I don't think I got any of these from dungeon chests. I don't even think I found a dungeon in the overworld at the minute. But now we have the division sigil, and this allows us to make something called unstable ingots, which are these things here, which is... Iron divided by diamond. That's actually what this is telling us. Now, if we were to do this, this unstable ingot. Oh. 
an upgraded form of the unstable ingot that will never explode and can be used to make more powerful versions of the regular tools. So, I do forget how this works because it has been a while. So, let's just, let's, let, let's show you this in effect. Okay, um... I'm just going to pop some things away. Because I do believe this is an insta-kill if this blows up. And I'm going to let it blow up so I can showcase to you exactly what these unstable ingots do. But I'm not sure if for now it's enchanted if it does. Okay. So as she tells us there, yeah. Divided by diamond, this ingot is highly unstable and will explode after 10 seconds. It will also explode if the crafting window is closed. So I'm not actually going to... Do you know what? It's going to explode, and I'll showcase this to you. Might as well. Ticking down. And it doesn't matter what you're wearing. It is an insta-death. So, yeah. Now, obviously, to make them and to craft with them... It... Right. Let's get our way back over here and get ourselves our armor and stuff back. So, yeah. There's no way of surviving that explosion, or at least no way that I have found anyway. And I was in pretty tough, pretty much god tier armor, you know, nothing could harm me in that. It does beg the question of what I'm going to do once I get these angel wings and don't have the jet plate anymore. I'm pretty sure that there'll be a, another in its place that I can use. Hop all the way over here. Now, there is a couple of ways to make those ingots actually stable. I'm pretty sure there's a way to craft the ingots to make them stable themselves using the Division Sigil, but I think that takes a little bit more of another ritual that I don't have access to yet. Oh, wow, my... When when you die with this, you're literally... Okay, fair enough. It's recharging. But there is another way that we can do this. Let's go grab the crafting table. There's another way that we can make stable ingots, and that is by creating the nuggets. So if we look at unstable. Um, where are they? I know there's nuggets in here somewhere. There we go. It's by, oh, that's by doing a gold. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. I thought it was diamond, but hey, we'll take gold nuggets, we'll take diamonds. Now obviously, this uses more diamonds and uses more uses on our tape, on our division sigil but can we really complain because now we could take these semi-stable nuggets and make them into stable nuggets and unlike the previous ones these will not explode but you know whole stack of diamonds we got seven now if we look at angel wings not angle wings angel wings all of them require Require a nether star. Do I have a nether star? I don't actually think I do. No, I don't. Okay, do I have a skeleton spawner? Well, I have a broken one. I think I'm going to go get myself a nether star and kill a wither. I actually have just the tool for this. It's called cloud. And then we get some soul sand. So I'm going to go kill a wither. And something is affecting me. Oh, yes, when you have that sword, yes, of course. Pop these away for now. So, yeah, I'm going to go get a wither. I'm going to go get another star from a wither, and I'll be back with you. I've done it. I've crafted up the wings. Would you look at those? We got dragon wings. Yeah, don't we look good? We look good. I've also replaced our jet plate, our flux-infused jet plate, with just the regular flux-infused chest plate. Instead of the jet plate. The reason being is obviously if we've got this jet plate on, you know, we're using the jet plate. If we're, which still defeats the whole purpose of me getting these wings. I'll show you why I got these wings. Now the one drawback of having wings over the jet plate is the speed of the wings is a lot slower. You know. We are nowhere near as fast as we were with the jet plate. So I'm still going to keep the jet plate handy because that's good if I'm traveling, say, off to see Abyss or something. 
But, ooh, music and loud headphones don't go well when you start playing Minecraft. But at least with these angel wings, we can go down a ladder. You know, we couldn't go down ladders with the jet plate. It was stopping us. So, that's that. And I know I could turn the hover mode off, but kind of defeats the purpose of having a jet plate if you don't have the hover mode on. So, and it's also nice to play without hearing the bloody death of the bloody turbines on the jet plate. So, we've got that solved. So now what I want to do in this episode is I actually want to work on this particular river here. I want to decide a start point for this river and how we're going to work it. And I've been doing some preparation, but if we look at this river, this river goes all the way over here. And I think what I want to do is I want to do this part of the river today going all the way over here. Now, I'm unsure how I want to connect the river from here to down there. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge. And I'm also kind of unsure of how I want the river to be shaped, if you will. I mean, we've got a rough shape here. But what I mean is, how do I want the underbelly to go? But I do know that filling a river in is disastrous in Minecraft. Let's be honest. If you ever tried to fill an area in with water, it takes forever. And then you get all the wrong water sources. And suddenly you're being pushed down because you don't have water sources below. And I had a really, really good idea to fill in a lake a lot easier. Now, there are pumps and stuff that could do it. But I don't want to take the chance that that's going to just misplace a block somewhere. I'm not too sure on how placing stuff with pumps works. But if we get ice, uh, let's just go somewhere a little bit safer. In Minecraft, if you get ice and you place ice down, it will eventually melt and turn into water. Or we could just break it to turn it into a water source block. And there we have it. Problem solved. And so all I need to do is literally place ice on the riverbed. And then just let it melt. Or go around smashing it with the atomic disassembler, which, come on. Sounds like you're smashing glass. Who doesn't like smashing glass, you know? So that's going to be fun. But I think I definitely want to have some sort of like gate come in here. But I'm only going to do the river from here onwards. I'm not going to do the blend with this yet because I'm unsure how I want this whole area to look. You know, we've got a lot of water stuff to do. And I want to fill this all in here and then start rebuilding it from scratch. Uh, but that's, that's a long job. Uh, it's not something I've got the time for this week, so I'm just going to start work on this and see exactly how this river comes about. So yeah, I'm going to get some work done, and when I've got something to show you, I'll bring you on back. Well, I've got a shape in for the river. As you can see, it's going to wind around here. Now, I've deliberately kept this all on one level. I, I've never done a river before. I've never ever really tried to make a river run before, so this is certainly going to be something interesting for me. It's certainly going to be fun to see how this all pans out. And I'm sure I'm going to make some mistakes. And we're doing it from here. Because this is where I want to start it going down. Uh, to meet up with this river. Definitely want the river in the city to be at a higher elevation than these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like a little waterfall here. I think that might be really cool to do. To sort of merge it. Yeah, we could have it keep going down like this. Which also would work really well. But I'm thinking a waterfall might be nice. Or maybe we put the waterfall over here at this side. Because this side is a little bit more different. Uh, this kind of goes into more of a, well, into this, like, mouth of the river here. So maybe we have a waterfall there instead of a waterfall over this side. But again, this is where it's going to start traveling down. And that's going to be a whole different ball game than what we're doing when we're, when we're doing it on just one elevation. Now, it would have been nice to have this go up an elevation and down an elevation just to sort of add some more variety to the river. But I've never done a river before. Never done a river before in Minecraft. So this is the first time and I'd like to start with something simple and then we can build on simple. It's going to be easy to build on simple. But first of all, we need to learn how to build a river. We need to, we need to just do it via trial and error. Practice that makes perfect, they say. And I like the sort of shape of the river here. Uh, these bits here where they're flat are going to be bridges. So I'm, I'm unsure exactly how I'm going to work the bridges. But there'll be a video in it of itself. The only bit I don't like is this. It kind of goes thin and then really, really fat over here. we got a couple of thin bits in. 
But I think that just makes it more variable, you know, adds a variant to it. So I think I like it in the long run. Now what I need to do is I need to dig this deeper. I need to start shaping the underbelly of the river and get some sort of idea of how I want it to go down. And we're also going to have some rocks piling up along the side of it as well. I need to get some mossy cobblestone for that. I probably have to craft some of that up, to be honest with you. But yeah, so I'm going to get some more work done on it. And when I've got something else to show you, I'll bring you on back. Welcome on back, folks. And we've got a more in-depth shape in place. But I also wanted to just bring you back to kind of show you what my mindset is going through something that I've never tackled before. So I've kept it simple. We started off with a one block deep wide gap flowing where I wanted it to flow. We kept it all the same elevation. Now, it wouldn't be too difficult to drop it and rise it up an elevation. And we'll probably do that with these rivers, with this river. But for this one, I want to keep it just going at the same height just to make things easier on me. Don't want to put too much on my plate. So what I did is I dug it down one block. Oh, some grass I missed there. Dug it down one block here, dropped it one block on both sides. Then I dropped it two blocks, so then I dropped it one block. And we've got this sort of shape now that feels a bit like a river. But I do want to just change it up a bit. So now we've used like kind of like the same template or some more dirt that I left behind. We've used the kind of same template. We've got this one block drop all around it, which is great and everything. But we, I want to vary this up so it's not all the same template copy and pasted. And again, it's like curse of the YouTuber. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some holes in the ground here. Just in sort of like random places. Like so, just to break that up a little bit, just to give it some more depth down here. You know, there we go. Maybe that one was a I accidentally hopped to the, another hole in that. That's fine. Like this, just to add a little bit more in depth. Just add something different to the river, you know, just to make it break up the repetitive nature of it so far. And then maybe we go in here and we go, okay, you know what? Let's let's bring this out a little bit. Bring that out like that. Yeah. And then maybe we just do the same thing here. We just add a couple more blocks here. Maybe here we add a couple more. And just little things like that. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to just break up the sort of like straight template that we've got. And make each bit its own unique thing. And I'll be back when I've done that. Welcome on back folks. And I've now got the riverbed in place. If you look at this, you can see that it's actually... Starting to really take shape. I filled this all in with gravel. We've got a shape going. Now, this isn't obviously the final thing. I don't want it to all be gravel. Because even though we won't really see what's under the water, if you look here, you don't really get to see too much of what's under the water. I do. You do actually get to see some of what's under the water. And I definitely want under here to look reasonably nice. So, i got a couple of blocks that's going to help that. First of all, uh, we've got... I've bought dirt with me we've got this dirt right here this happy dirt which looks like this which looks very very happy we've also got coarse dirt and we've also got soul sand now prior to one point is it 1.11 that was the aqua update 1.12 1.13 prior to that one this is good for a riverbed, but after Aqua Update, Update Aquatic, this it kind of sucks as a riverbed because you get all them bubbles and stuff. So this is what we've got for the river, these four, and I'm going to mix and match these in. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this soul sand here, and then I'm just going to go through here, adding some in like so. Just some bits of soul sand in, and then I'm going to come here, I'm going to select this coarse dirt. And I'm going to add more coarse dirt in. Like so. Then I'll come here. I'll grab some of this happy dirt. And we'll throw in some happy dirt. As well. And already as that looks. It's starting to get a little bit better. It's starting to feel more like a riverbed. Rather than having this gravelly side. Now the good thing about coarse dirt. Is grass isn't going to spread to it. The same with this chiseled dirt. Grass is not going to spread to it. Now, unfortunately, there's no chiseled variant of gravel, which is rather annoying. But we'll deal with it. So I'm going to get this whole riverbed transformed. Then I'm going to...
put in some rocks and some other little things. I'm going to use mossy stone brick for the rocks. Maybe some cobblestone as well. Get those put in. And then I'll bring you on back. So welcome back folks. And this is the final river. I've put a bit of wood in. A wooden fence in here just to keep this at bay. But this is the river. And I think that maybe I went a little bit too heavy with the mossy cobble in the end. Uh, to be honest. You know I might take some of this out. This one can go actually. Um, maybe that block. And maybe these can go. Actually, no, that's helping to break up. Yeah, I've used two different kinds of mossy cobble. I've used a regular mossy cobble, and this has got sort of bricks missing. I did have a look through all the different chiseled variants of the uh, mossy cobble. Um, and the one that I liked the best was this one and the regular mossy stone. I thought that was just perfect. And it like, kind of fits the area. I decided to go with this sort of like, I forget what this mud is called now. It's uh, crumbling dirt over the happy dirt. Just to sort of break it up. It was blending in too much with the soul sand. I didn't like it. But now we've got the sort of like, let me take the chest, the thingy off. And we'll fly through using the angel wing. It's slower and it sort of gives you an immersive feel. So this really does to me feel like a riverbed now. And again, this is, you know, Something I've never done before, ever in Minecraft. You know, the only time I've ever made a river in Minecraft is literally when I've just parted the earth and put water there. I've never done a proper riverbed like this. I've never custom built a river this big. It's usually just been like a little thing to put crops aside of. You know, more irrigation than anything. But this really feels like it. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks with the water in. Now, to fill it up with water, let's put on the jet plate because it lets us go faster. And also charges our items. But yeah, would you look at that? It's night time again, I swear. Every time I record. Let's just pop these away. Now let's make a diamond pickaxe. And get some ice. And the way that I plan to fill this in is by using ice. We'll do a little bit on camera and then I'll do the best off camera. And then I can show you the final product. But what I plan to do is I plan to just go in here and literally put ice down. And then break ice. And there we go. We've now got our river bed. And then we'll obviously put this like this. I'm going to bring it all up to this height. Then, you know, what doesn't break, I'll break manually. And then I'll just go in and bring it up again and again and again. And this way we make sure that every block is a water source block. I mean, yeah, we could fill this in with water and there are pumps, but like I said, I don't know exactly where the pumps will go. I don't want them to do stuff that I don't want them to do. So yeah, I'm going to get this done. And when I've done this, I'll bring you on back. Welcome on back, folks. And I know that it's supposed to be, well, it looks like it's night, but it's actually day. Uh, let's drink this potion of night vision because I want to show you the semi-final product. This is the river. And we've definitely got it going through here now. And it looks a lot better than those blocks. And with the night vision potion, we can actually duck underneath and see underneath a lot better. And it looks pretty cool. Some of these are things that I put on top of the water but didn't like. I didn't like stuff on top of water. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Uh, but I may go with that later on. And now I'm going to lose these because I ain't got my shears on me. But yeah, some of the things that I want to do when I say it's semi-done is I want to blend it with this. You know, I'd like to bring some, maybe this mossy brick up and around here. Maybe we have some mo mossy um, cobble up near the riverbank and stuff. Maybe we build this riverbank up a little bit. You know, but I just want to do like an episode where we blend in stuff. You know, we're going to do the path. Ways going through here soon. So we've got pathways going to where. To all of the places that we want them to go. And then I'd like to do an episode where we start blending. The pathways into the rest you know. Adding some dirt into the pathways. And adding more dirt around here you know. And again when we start doing this. I'd like to have some rocks piled up alongside the riverbank. You know. Have some. Some of this dirt and this gravel coming out here. Uh, some of the coarse dirt, I put these torches in to actually help me sort of 
break the ice. The ice was a paid. It was a really bad decision, but it worked. We've got all source blocks now, so it was kind of worth it. I had to break them all manually. I ended up making a. I ended up making an efficiency for diamond pickaxe, because my 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 atomic disassembler would do it. And it would insta-break the blocks, but it was also insta-breaking other blocks. The diamond pick didn't insta-break any other blocks apart from the um, ice, so it was easy to do. I also ended up wearing a golden helmet to have respiration and aqua affinity on down there as well. But yeah, so this is the final product of the river. We've obviously got to blend this river into this here. I think, now I'm looking at this, I'd like to take that out. I think that looks a little bit better. You can sort of see this riverbed really does kind of look cool. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Especially for a first attempt at doing a river. I'm pretty sure the next time that I do a river, I've learned some things. Like, I would probably have this bank down one block. So, the bank would be down a block. Or maybe I'd bring the the bank up a block. Maybe on this side we do that. I don't know, you know. Maybe, maybe you know, like, have the water at this level. Then have a block free. I mean, we could certainly do that. Um, that would require me rising up this whole area by one block and I don't really want to do that so I've learned something from doing this river something that I would do differently but at the same time I'm really happy with how this has turned out I'm pretty sure when we start blending it in it won't look as bad maybe I'll rise this side up a block so I can have the bank on one side but not on the other side that would be kind of cool but yeah Actually, I've got a really cool idea. It'd be nice to have this up a couple of blocks and then have wooden struts sort of like holding it back like a small retaining wall and have things washed up onto it from the beach, you know, and have a lot of mossy cobblestone and just obelisks about, stuff like that, and it'd look really cool. I think that'd be a really good idea. And then that would bring this up a block and also bring the river up a block, which means we be bringing this whole thing up a block, but I'd probably just bring it up uh, in a certain area a bit to begin with, just to, to let that kind of sink in and stuff. Uh, we still need to figure out how we're going to join this river to the, the main river out here. Still got to figure out what I want to do out here as well. But that's a job for a later date. You know, maybe, you know, I've got to fill this in as well. Guess what she is to grab them as well because I, I want stuff like that. But yeah, I'm really kind of happy with how this river has turned out. And I've grabbed a screenshot from underneath. There we go. Grabbed another one now. But yeah, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey Order. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.